morning. I just wanted to give a quick reminder to citizens that we are continuing the dialogue with our citizens regarding the Wichita Police Department's organizational assessment. The first community engagement meeting regarding the findings and recommendations of this assessment is scheduled for tonight at 5 p.m. at the Atwater Neighborhood Resource Center that's located at 2755 East 19th Street. The Wichita Independent Neighborhood, WIN, is our host for tonight's meeting. This is a meeting, this meeting is another opportunity to hear from our residents. It's a chance to ask questions, share concerns, and to continue to help us work on police community relations. Residents are, are also encouraged to read the organizational assessment report at www.wichita.gov where they can also find the Activate Wichita link to offer feedback on the report. Other meetings uh, that will be hosted and scheduled are Wichita with the Wichita NAACP, the Sunflower Community Action, and the Wichita Crime Commission. Again, tonight's meeting is one of four. Uh, I'll give you additional information. We'll also have this available to you, uh, but the next meeting that's scheduled is March 10th with the NAACP. It's at 6 o'clock. Uh, it will be held at the Urban Prep Academy Library and that location is 2821 East 24th Street North. The next meeting is on March 25th with the Sunflower Action Group at 1751 North Ash and that meeting will be held from 6 to 730. Now details are still being worked out on the final meeting with the Wichita Crime Commission and when we get that information, we'll make that available. But as I've said in the No Ferguson Here meetings that are the platform for some of these meetings, that uh, we need to continue our dialogue with our citizens, and this is our effort to do so. And I'll go ahead and take questions at this time. You've done a few of these now. Are you seeing improvements or, you know, what has been accomplished so far by engaging the community? So far in looking at the uh, report itself, um, it, uh, some areas didn't surprise me on some of the things that needed to be done. And actually, uh, we've started work on some of those areas. Uh, some of the issues, some training for our officers, CIT, some of those areas we're addressing right now. So uh, we're continuing to work on those things while continuing the dialogue as well. We're not just going to have the meetings and talk about it. We're, we're actually going to work on the, the uh, report and the findings itself. So there's still a lot of heavy lifting. If you have looked at that report, there's a number of recommendations in that report. What we have to do first is organize that, work with our project management team and get the findings and recommendations and, and then map out a course on how to work on these issues. And you said a lot of the issues we knew were going on, you weren't surprised by them. Were there any that you've heard through these meetings that were surprising? No, and again, uh, Wichita State University is a partner in this. They'll be at the meetings along with city staff tonight in the following meetings. But um, we always knew we had to have better communication, you know, and, and nationwide there's, there's the talk of being transparent and open. We're not immune in Wichita to also being that way. Um, you know, we, we consider ourselves open now, but can we do more? And that has been the key, and that's what our focus has been, is getting more and allowing more information out to the public. All right. I, I have one more. I guess if you increase that transparency, or, you know, people are calling for it, and now you guys are working towards that. Is it helping the police department? I, I think so. I mean, when you look at the, even the body camera project, and opening that up. I mean, by the year's end, we'll have cameras on our field personnel. That's part of that task of being open and transparent. If there's an issue that arises, we'll have video of it. Now, obviously, with any video, there's interpretation of what people are seeing and what is actually going on with policies or, or what, what do I actually see or comments going on as well. So, but we're working on policies there in some areas just to address those transparency. But it, it again, you know, it, it just points to us that I, I think we're doing a good job. Can we do better? And yes, we all can probably do better. Uh, earlier there was some talk about we weren't quite sure yet where all the funding sources were going to come for the cameras. Has that been sorted out? 
No, part of the uh, part of that process is first sorting through that report and getting the recommendations, and then uh, prioritizing. How do you attack such a big list of items? And then once we identify what that list is, I think then you look at funding and, and those areas that cost anything, and then we'll have to uh, discuss that with the city manager. Are there any of, of those potential issues that might delay the full implementation of the body cameras? No, we, we've committed, we're on schedule to have full implementation by the end of the year. You know, early on, I, had, I was careful to lay out a plan and say we'll be done by this period. You know, the one concern that we had was availability. With everything going on nationwide, when we asked for the cameras, would they be available? So um, at this point, I'm not hearing that there's any hang up in that category. So uh, we've identified some funding sources. So now it's the point of working on policies and, and then training for our officers. And we have to systematically roll this out and then decide which stations we do this with. You know, first maybe a specific station and then the next one and next till we have full implementation. I know there are also questions about federal money. You know, there could be some available. We don't know when. And we were talking earlier, and that was also something that was up in the air. Anything more concrete on that? or No, but as I said earlier, I'm keeping my ear, mm -hmm. <laughs> ear to the uh, uh, roadway. Because at the end of the day, you know, just like anything, just like I said on availability of cameras, you also have to look at availability of funding out there. If I'm going to, or this department will try to seek that, Rest assured, others are trying to seek that money as well. You talk about the process of prioritizing once you get through some of this. Is that a, is that a function entirely of the police department, or will Wichita State and the city staff also be part of the prioritizing? Yeah. Uh, this is a part of uh, this department, and then looking at who the stakeholders would be on a specific recommendation. Uh, I can tell you that in a lot of segments, the community themselves will be a part of you know, the uh, solution or working towards a resolution or working on a recommendation. So it depends on the specific deal and then the stakeholders involved, but we're involving the community. Just like these dialogue meetings will continue, we have to keep uh, everyone involved.